Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 18 of Antimatter Chemistry. And I'm getting pristine into Dragon Matter. Three so far, actually. I'm not sure what I would need Dragon's Breath for a war unless I decided I want to go into the uh, Rainbow Generator route. But, uh, yeah, that's the thing, right? So, we're going to go through because that wants eight ingots for this quest. And, oh my, <laughs> oh, I didn't even check that. All right, so I need purple glowstone dust. So I need eight purple plus one glowstone. That's actually not bad though. Does it mean I get, it's one glowstone and I get eight dust out of it. But isn't there like a, uh, a die mixer? Yes, there is. All right. Um, honestly, what am I missing? I'm missing a golden gear, and I'm missing one of these. Okay. Um, gold. Right. Now, I wondered why people were talking about purple dye in the comments of my videos. That would probably be why. Hmm. Sixty-four is probably good enough for now. And I can use this to craft that. Okay, come on. Got to put that in my in my system. Hey, okay, I got 16. And yeah, it was you. So die mixer, yes please. Let's play around with you a little bit. So, what do you do? All right, here. Uh, more efficiently normal crafting, giving it red, green, and blue dye will fill the color buffers. And when given a laser lens, we'll focus that color and produce the specified dye. Okay, good. I'm going to leave that there for a second. The other thing I made off camera is the fluid sipping machine. Uh, give me some iron, would you? And maybe a wireless. Yeah. Because I don't feel like grabbing conduits and doing all the things, right? So, iron. Wow, I'm down to 200 iron. I've got 961 iron ore, though. So, we're doing okay. Plus, I've got a bunch of elemental iron left. Right. So, you can go, say, there. For now. Actually. Now you can go there. Put the block back. So to make the fluid sieving machine, I actually needed a plink, a uh, yeah, yeah, plink, a pink slime ball, slime ball. Wow. All right, there's that now. You should be getting power. Which there's a power cell underneath the slaughter factory, but oh, how much power do you need? Forty. Yeah, no, you're fine. And let's just, I guess, go ahead and make some more translocators. Uh, this one. I forget exactly how many extra pistons I made, but probably should do that in the future sometime. All right, you, you, in you go. Fill up a fluid. Making pink slime. All right, what all do I need this for? Well, one thing I do need actually is pink slime balls, right? This stuff right here. And okay, material stonework. Eh, tempting actually. I usually consider it too cheaty, but considering everything else going on in this pack, eh, fair game. Uh, what do you oh yeah, vector plate. Okay. And the lenses is actually what I'm looking for. Here we go. It's four four per. So and I've only got like two hundred, you know, something buckets, so and it is still raining, actually, which is quite pleasing. Let me get down to it. Um, no. Fill that in. I meant to do like that, right? That is seven, right? Yeah, seven, eight. And start filling these things up. Yeah. 
not the bucket. This um reservoir. Five. Uh, empty mode. Hey, look at you. Oh, yeah. No, um. Good sword, please. I wonder if I should be making a... Like a data model. Honestly. Uh, slime. There we go. Produces pristine slime matter, which... Can produce. All right, so how do I make you? Uh, just a slime ball. Okay. I didn't bother because I'm like, I have not seen a slime. Please tell me I have one. I do. Oh, thank God. Okay. I did not feel like making one of these right now. Yeah, the, uh, the data models. Um, you can have that now. Actually, you can go, you can go like that. Hey, hey, I'm over here, guys. That's what I'm missing, sweeping edge. And six to go. So these guys are not counting for this, though. So I need to find a slime chunk in a dimension and from some slimes that way. Although the good news is it's not going to take that long. Or, or, um, uh, let's just open this up and look at this. Uh, slimy haiku. And it doesn't say anything. I wonder if magma cubes would work, honestly. But hey, we've got 12 slime balls so far. I did put looting three on this, right? Uh, no, I didn't actually. So I should be using the glitch sword anyway. Hey, we got a full stack of pink slime ingots. And now I'm just waiting for this thing here to, uh, to gel, so to speak. But we got this wonderful quest done. Hey, there you go. I knew it. I just had to, had to get distracted for a second, didn't I? Thank you. All right, so quest book, loot crate, conic evolution information tablet. Next is basic fusion crafting. I need draconic core. This is just for the injector, by the way. Block of iron, smooth stone, diamond. Okay, draconic core is four draconium ingots, four gold, and a diamond. All right, cool. Yeah. Uh, a thousand kills gives me a growth three or growth crystal tier three, which I'll put it under my carrot form, I guess. Uh, you can rest right there. That's that's just fine. Because actually, I have been losing XA now. Uh, the only reason we're up to sixteen thousand five hundred is I bumped it up to seventeen thousand using my internal supply. So yeah, but that's to kind of be expected because this thing here takes, oh, 2,500 RF attack to run, but I've already got 18 of these. So I can get hearts, I can get eggs, which I was getting an egg per kill, which is awesome. Uh, then are kind of dragon scales. I might want to activate with that. Maybe there's not like a one-to-one -one conversion recipe. Although, nope, it's not a word dictionary. Okay. I did end up with a lot of extra dragon scales. And there is a Draco Arcanus armor. There's the Draco Arcanus axe, aquatic dragon scales for the tier suit of armor. But I think for now, draconium. Unless I really need dragon heads for anything. I don't think I do. But I did manage to, uh, I basically ground it out and I have a self-aware ender dragon. So, yay, right? So I need a purple lens. I need one of these. Oh, it's got to be purple stained glass. I hate those. Okay. 
I don't know why you didn't want to use regular glass for that, but oh well. All right. Radiant Beacon from a Tomb too. Really? And it is a Heart of Ra. How do I get you? No recipe. Okay. Oh, Slimalizer. That's going to be awesome. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to make that first. And... Actually, I've got it right here. I don't need to be doing what I was doing. Purple laser lens. All right. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize... I usually don't hold them in my hand, but it's actually see-through. That is kind of sort of spiffy. Now, red dye. How am I going to get a bunch of red? And let's see. Red dye. Well, it comes from the dye mixer, the artificial dye. Uh, rose red, right? Yeah. Uh, what are you? You are mercury sulfide. I actually could make quite a bit of that, couldn't I? I think I'd rather get rose bushes, though. Um, you. There we go. Uh, okay, well, I've got a bunch of cactus out here, so not really an issue. Come on. Oh, one thing I did do was I made the Tiny Progressions Dragon Armor. Uh, it is right in here. And there's a reason. Gives you flight, yay, strength, fire resistance, resistance. Yeah, it's all good. It is slow. I I like being able to to move at a pretty good clip, honestly. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm really appreciating it. Also, step up. Another thing I really like. So yeah, no. Uh can I have some lapis, please? Uh, just like a stack will work. And you get smelt enough there. And it's gonna be fairly quick. Sure, why not? We will uh, we'll put our die mixer like right here. We will give you a laser. And you can have a bunch of that. You can have a bunch of that. And you're making purple. And actually, I didn't even need the green. So. And it's actually not using the die all that quick, which is quite nice. What do we got? More pizza. All right. Actually, I am kind of kind of sort of slightly thrilled about that. And cactus green. I mean, I might as well, right? Go ahead and load it up. But hey, our purple artificial dye. And now glowstone, I guess, right? And then I want to make this stuff, which is unfortunately that recipe. And I am actually out of shards. I had exactly a stack, it looks like. Oh, well, that's a shame now, isn't it? Pink slime. What else can I make with this besides the obvious, right? Black hole controller. That's definitely something I want, so we're going to favorite that. Washing factory. Now, I don't think I'm going to go to ore triplication with this. Fortunate, I don't know. It might not be bad, too. And then there's the infinity drill. Whereas black hole tank, laser drill, two blocks of iron, block of diamond. Uh, let's see. This actually requires enter chests. Okay. Block a diamond each. How am I sitting on diamond? 93. So I can make like 10 controllers right now. That is a downside. Oh. No. 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 Do not be burning down my crops. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, meh. Oh my. Get that carbon out of there. So Pola didn't even have room for white antimatter. Really weird is there's like no oxygen in here though. Stupid amounts of rubidium though. I mean really that's uh quite a bit. All right, and you can go into there. Oh. All right, storage. But I've made so many zinc ingots because of this. 
just give me give me a diamond storage so I don't have to worry about it for a while. There, much better. And I'm going to put this guy in here for now. I guess that and that can go in. And I'll put that away for now too, I think. And trial key, yeah, I can just, I'll put that in here. So it's an extra. I don't know about automating the trials thing, but, uh, oh, wow, look at that, 10 more. Also, I have 10 pristine Enderman matter for future purposes. There you go. Knock yourself out. How are we doing here? Uh, less than a stack to go. Oh, I, I mean, I can live with it. All right, so uses. Draconium-infused obsidian. All right, not terrible. Dislocator. Again, not terrible. Tablet. You can get... And the potentiometer. Right now. And nuggets only come from ingots. Okay. I was... I was a bit hopeful. I really was. Now that is a downside. I'm going to have the occasional, like, thunder strike, but... Thunder strike? Lightning strike. Uh, that, and give me the nitrogen, would you? There we go. So, nitrogen. I only got 24,000 of that saved up. Ow. Right, so... I need to catch 50 fish, the llama, which somebody kind of spoiled for me in the comments, and then the LOL glyph. Which is going to be around somewhere. So, I need... Wait a second. The quest actually calls for nine. Okay. Which is honestly what you need. So, I need nine blocks of iron. I need 18 diamonds. I need 27 diamonds, actually. And I need 36 draconium. I have 16, so I need like 20 more of those. All right. Quarry card, though, right? This is uh, one thing I've been waiting for. Needs a wyvern core. All right, so that's what, 16, 20 draconium? Ugh. Okay, uh, actually, I can check it from anywhere. Uh, fortune quarry, right? Is four more dimensional shards. Okay. So, excuse me. I basically, I need to go back to my, uh, my hole. I've got what, five stacks of these left? Yeah. Hey, look, I ran out of gunpowder. Amazing. I thought I had more than that. But, magnet, elves, pouch shouldn't take that long all right we're back and 100 dimensional shards it yeah it took about oh a little over half an hour uh okay let's not do that again uh that right what else can we make uh well there's fortune quarry card i want to make this right so uh up cores, right? Yeah, a lot of cores. One, two, three, four. Iron core needs another star. Okay, well, what else can we use here? We need an evil infused ingot, which is going to require an enchanter. Hey, I have extra bookshelves. Awesome. All right, so enchanter. And which book is I using? Frostwalker. Yeah, I go for it. Okay. Um, book. And wireless, please. All right. So let's, uh, see, I didn't want to set anything up in the middle of this room. So there's just a lot of wasted space. And it's a little bit unfortunate, but 
working, it works, right? Yeah, I, I, I have self touch, so if it doesn't work out, then uh, yeah, like that really shouldn't be there. All right, I can just do like that, like that, and right there. No. Dang it. All right. There, that'll do it. And then I can just set this like right there. A little power. It doesn't have the X over here, so we're good to go. And I can make enchanted ingots, so if I want better speed upgrades, I can actually do that now. But I need a, I need a couple other stars is what I need. So time to switch the dragon out for the wither skeleton. And I know I have, I know I have, I made one extra simulation chamber. Oh, you are actually out of polymer though. How much else did you give to me? What twenty four more? All right, cool. Get busy. So polymer, right? Uh, polymer clay. This. And we'll do four. The sludge boiler has actually been a godsend when it comes to clay. Definitely worth it. All right, you're going to start running. Uh, you're only a superior. Which, you know, is not horrible. Uh, how far are you on your way to self-aware? you got a ways to go yet. It only takes 880 RF, so not terrible. And we're getting hellish matter. Another work gold gas tier. That's actually important. They burned through all my gas tiers making those uh, the nether bookshelves. All right, blaze rods, blaze powder, soul sand. Uh, one to four actually is not terrible. That is something good to remember. Uh, also, can I have that back? And look at that. All right. You can make those for me. Now I just need two more pristine matter, pretty much. Uh, you know what? I do have this guy here. Let's do like that, All right? And let's see. Everything else is actually working just like it should. How are you doing, though? Ah, you're third. Okay, you're good. You're fine. And you, you're about half. After I fill that up, I might as well just hook up a trash can, honestly. Or black hole tank. One of the two. One thing I do want to do, though, I want to get rid of all of this junk that I picked up. Well, uh, well, basically strip mining is actually exactly what it was. And it's flipping through so quick, you don't even see it load into this. Between that and that, yeah, no, this is, uh, and this can keep up, which is freaking amazing. It's, I mean, it's just chewing through that andesite. Which I think andesite's what I don't have over here, right? Uh, I've got diorite and... Oh, no, I have andesite, okay. Look at you. Why would you do this? Well, for one, osmium was full, so it had nowhere to go. So let's get our osmium upgraded. 2048, and eh, not bad. Not bad. Oh, I forgot to grab the andesite. And we'll just do all this too. So granite's the one I don't have going right now. All right, that's uh, not terrible. There we go, 2300 again. And I'm holding off on the wireless up until I can get my hands on, well, not even get my hands on something, until I move my refined storage system. Because like all these little machines we have laying around here, well, not that, but the farms are gonna stay here. But like this guy here, I managed to find a rose bush in my mining world, and I just hooked up this simple little machine here to keep me loaded with red dye, and it's quite simple. That's all it does. 
Thomas Activator, use item on block. It's using bone meal on the rose bush, which this is a too tall flower. Duplicates it. The vacuum later is actually whitelisted to pick up only rose bushes. And that's it. It's simple, easy, no power required. I can set it up literally anywhere. And I get tons of rose bushes out of it. So, I mean, it's just kind of a win, 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 win. Every which way around you can go. I could even speed it up with speed upgrades if I wanted to. Uh, are you... Ow. I mean, it's going fast, but... Uh... The hopper can pull faster than it can insert, which I think is the fault of this thing. We'll do that for now. And... Okay, now it's pushing as fast as it's going. Okay. Which we're still not seeing things load into that. Oh, um, looks like aluminum is back stuffed. Oop. So here, you can you can have one stack of that back. Yeah, with the storage drawers, you do kind of... Unless you want to avoid everything. Or avoid excess, I should say. It would be everything. But, uh... You do kind of have to keep on top of things here. Oh wow, that... Yeah, that emptied it out quick, didn't it? I love how fast translocators are. They're wonderful. I just emptied this thing right before I hit record again. And yeah, we got more loot crates. Stuff showing up in here. Now, how fast are you going? Uh, a little bit faster. How are you doing over here? 15,200. Yeah, this is actually slowly decreasing. But, it's, well, be expected. But at the same time, I've got uh, 600,000 extra buckets of steam. I'm... Yeah, I think we're doing okay, honestly. Oh, sweet. Look at you. You're amazing. Keep up the good work. Actually, I need to send one of these back so I have room. All right, there's that. And I need to grab up some soul sand, which my sludge boiler is also making for me. Now, it's not fast, but it's been running long enough now that it's uh, like 71 mycelium. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Why do I have a stack and a half of white antimony? I don't even know. Tell you what, we'll uh, just grab half stack of this. And we'll go over to our weather farm. It has made a really interesting pattern. Because the explosion is actually flipping through the blocks here. Play and... Play. It's funny, when you pause this, it actually disconnects from the... Uh, which is probably what the problem with my mob duplicator was, actually. It'll actually disconnect and not allow liquids through. Thank you. You're trying to crunch through blocks, but it's not working. Ah, lightning bolt. There's our two nether stars now. You, my friend, you do take a bit of power to run. But you're just sitting idle. Okay. This is the one that actually runs continuously. Now you're stopped. Before this thing, it just kept cycling constantly. Why is there soul sand in here? That must have been what was getting crunched. All right. All right, so we have our nether stars. Now core. Right, because I want to make a wyvern core. One of those. Hey, quest complete, wyvern core. Cool. Um, not the fusion crafting. This. I need an emerald pick. And was it like, it was an emerald shovel, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay. And now I just need the evil infused iron ingot. And this guy. Shape card. Any paper, really? Hmm. All right, well.
There's our shape card. And we will just go ahead and do that. And I am short on four draconium, huh? Three, four. So like that. I need like eight iron. And actually that another star I put away. Which is... Somewhere, right? Yep. Now let's check on... Okay, good. The barrel is now empty. Kill this damn granite out of my inventory. There we go. You can have that and that. And you're going to take a minute 20. Okay, then. Well, let's go ahead and do a little bit of MTN out here. And say we'll just do... Oh, can't reach from there. Do that. Grab all this out now, and... Carbon, sure. Nitrogen. Why not, right? And you can go here. And there. So, let's see here. You should be done. Holy crap, no you're not. Alright, we have our evil infused iron ingot. And... We have our shape card quarry. All right, now I did make the builder, right? I did, awesome. Now I can actually quarry stuff up, which was not a quest, but hey, Wyvern Core. Oh, that, that is, thank you, that was great. Yes, now I can actually quarry my mining dimension and get all the dimensional shards I want at the cost of power. Now there is, uh, there's like the, the machine infuser or whatever. Uh, this guy, right? And I have everything I need except for one of these, which obviously that's easy enough to make. Machine infuser. Machine can improve most other machines and RF tools in various ways. This needs dimensional shards. This guy reduced power consumption and increased speed. That is definitely worth throwing a bunch of shards at. One well, of the reasons I didn't want to use up all my shards, and actually I have exactly a stack left. So Infuser can go here. We're going to toss our builder in there, shard it on up. And it's going to take a lot of shards though. But even partial infusion is better than, than nothing at all. Alright, we're back and I managed to get the builder to 100% infused. I had to go back and Get basically three more stacks of dimensional shards. Uh, let's see how we doing on power. Uh, we're doing excellent on power. Awesome. And so, how am I going to work this? Because I need oh, not dirt, but an uh, ender chest, right? I've got one from a loot box, so I guess we'll make another one. White, 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 and okay, and then they don't, they weren't wanting to stack for whatever reason. Um, let's go ahead and make this a cyan chest, I guess. There we go. And let's see. Can I make another servo? Uh, resident one, please. Mount of Enderium. Alright, much better. And... Go out into the rainy night. There you go, and we will... Wow, that's fun. Uh, damn it, I don't even have my... Wrench on me here. 
See if we can click right this time. There we go. And we will just go ahead and ignore this. This way, this thing can use the same sorting system quote that this guy is using for now. And honestly, though, I should be filtering dirt out now. At least for now. I have got almost 4,000 dirt, so we're doing okay there. I'm filtering gravel already. And then the, the stone varieties, which I managed to get most of the uh, stuff I got from my voyages to the mining dimension taken care of already. Yep. Toss that in there. Yep. And it went up, not this way. So we're good. Uh, this guy's finally hit 15,000 blocks. And honestly, it's a pretty good quarry. I'm just very limited by power right now, so it's not performing as it should. Now, speaking of power, though, I'm going to need a way to get power across dimensions, which is honestly power cell, right? So I need some redstone blocks. Just make a few extra because you never know. Probably going to end up using more of these. I wish we had flux networks in this pack, honestly. That would be wonderful. And we'll just go ahead and link you up. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a leadstone. Because I still need to uh still need to throttle power for now. And here we go. Right. So <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, builder. Needs a chest on top. I'm going to put a power cell down. Say, no, not that. That. All sides to out. You can be like that. Should fill up rather nicely now. Let's do a flux duct. can go between the two of them. And... Um, yeah, it's filling up with power. Slowly, mind you, but it does hold quite a bit. And our shape card. How much power do we have in here? Oh yeah, we got plenty. So... Oh, hi. Thank you. Alright, so Link to the Builder, we are going to start here. And just to make sure I don't accidentally mine something out that I want to keep. Oh, like blazes. You know, honestly, I do, I do want these. Yes, this is a very, very interesting dimension so far. Oof, okay, Molson 10 is not like... The best thing on my frames, honestly. I don't know why, but just kind of glitch out a little bit whenever I uh, get close to the wall, the quote ocean. And all right, you know what? Tunnel. Hey, look, we're bedrock. Okay. And there. New settings copy to shape card. And back up we go. What is... Like a weird, like, color spot. Hmm. Being shot at by Bazaals. Oh, that's a slate. I'm like, why is there like purple hardened clay here? Oh, look at you. I will gladly grab some timlets. Let's turn the light on. 
And we have uh, a few things here. Tell you what, let's uh, send some of the stuff back here that I don't need to have on me. What else we got here? We got Red Moon, Huge Orbs, and Canyons. All right, awesome. And what's that? Oh, Desertus? Okay. But as soon as I found that, I have a feeling I'm going in like the wrong direction. Well, that's a lot of sand right here. Yeah, definitely, definitely an amplified world. There's the Bazal's waypoint, so that's actually pretty close to my uh, my platform. So we'll just uh, head this direction. Oh look, pigs! And let's go ahead and grab these while I when I see them. Great. I am actually kind of sort of lost. So I cheated. I went home and then I came back with the uh, with the teleporter. All right. So now I just need to give this thing basically a redstone signal, right? And off to activate. Yeah, it work. Hit stop and it's going to start mining and there goes all the power. But yes, no, it mines uh, much, much quicker than the uh, the quantum quarry does. The downside is this one, I actually have to kind of sort of keep an eye on and uh, I move every once in a while. And let's see. I can't read the, the writing over because it's on top of an ender chest. Not enough power. Chunk zero of 247. All right. Yeah, I think you can get behind this. So. Because I was kind of looking ahead, but uh, I want to make a fusion reactor. And I'm going to need a lot of resources for that. Also, these things here, right? So I needed nine draconic cores. That's 36 draconium and nine blocks of iron. I should be able to make this now, though. All right, so we've got four tiers of injectors to, injectors to choose from. Uh, each tier is the previous tier, like basically leveled up in the fusion crafter. Yes, so this is the first one here. So I need nine blocks of iron. I have enough for seven. Oh man. Uh, let's see, here we go. 7,000 iron moles. Uh, let's see. Shouldn't take too terribly long to get this run through. And honestly, that's all I'm going to do because that is enough to finish off two more blocks of iron. Let's go put this stuff away. I will uh, process that later off camera, I think. And so I need 36 of these. I have enough for eight. What am I short on? Uh, well, I'm going to need more lapis and definitely more red. So... Let's grab ourselves like a couple stacks of lapis. I do have some red here. However, I also have in here somewhere. Somewhere. All right. I'm missing them because I'm blind. There we go. Rose red. And I get, you know, four per, so. But yes, I've got... Several stacks. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and do this and get this started. And there you go. So this thing is not wanting to empty this stuff out for whatever reason. Translocator's doing good. I mean, it's on output. I watched it empty. I clicked out of it, clicked back in, and it's full again. So there's a desync somewhere. All right, let's go over here. And we've got 11 more pristine wither skeleton 
matter. And this guy's only at a uh, superior, so it's only gonna go up from here. Getting lots and lots of hellish matter though. Which means I need to find a use for that. Honestly, probably need to make soul sand with, so I can turn out wither skeleton skull or uh, nether stars. And there you go. Yeah, there's some more. That might might get a start for us, you know. I'm feeling I'm gonna run out of shards here pretty quick. Oh, that's right, I actually need to make the purple glowstone first, which is it grabbed vanilla purple dye, okay. There we go. Like, why did it stop? It's, okay, so I have 32. Which is approximately hmm, a quarter of what I need. Honestly, uh, to make the make the cores, I need... Yeah, I need four per core. Actually, no, I just need one more. I need four more, actually. Got yeah, the 36 was for the ingots, not for the actual cores themselves. Hey, look, regular growth crystal. Hooray. We are saved. So, let's see. I could go back to the mining dimension and manually mine out some dimensional shards. If it was chunk loaded, it would probably work better, right? Uh, great. So I have a chunk loaded now, so it's running like it should. And I put a second servo on here. Because, yeah, thermal is kind of bad at this. Unfortunately. But, you know, is what it is. But yeah, we're definitely uh, definitely getting ores and stuff, getting a ton of cobblestone, so it's a good thing I'm voiding it. I was would fill my system up in no time flat. And this thing's done another like 900 blocks since I hooked this thing up. This thing is easily done 10 times that by itself. And you can see items just whipping by here. Unfortunately, most of it is just going into the trash can. Oh well, kind of is what it is, right? Can't really do anything about it. Might as well just deal with the fallout. So, one thing I haven't seen come through here yet, though, is any dimensional shards. And I mean, unless we get super lucky, like in the next five seconds, I'm just going to cut and come back when we finally get some. All right, looks like we got enough shards. I can make that just enough shards. And. Draconic Core number four. And let's see. Let's go ahead now. Here we go. Drop those in there. We'll make nine of those. Basic fusion crafting quest is complete. Now there's one thing missing for this though. Go ahead and open this up. Speed upgrade. Hooray. And that would be the actual fusion crafter itself. Um, let's see. This guy. Needs another Draconic Core. I need four blocks of Lapis. And yep, I'm out of shards again. Oh yeah, this is the fun part of the map, isn't it? Just making sure it's still working and... And it just stopped. Why did you stop? No, you didn't. Okay. Hmm. Right then. Power's doing fine. Yeah, we got our dynamos actually backfilling with power still, which is... Got a couple of them backfilling with power, which is not as good as I would like it, but... Oh well. Oh, also, I left my cactus turned on. Whoops. And we're at 23,000. Yeah. If I turn the cactus on and leave it on, this thing just fills up like crazy, but... 
Honestly, I think the cactus farm is the better option, except for the entire, you know, excess byproducts thing. Especially since carrots have a 20% chance of actually producing beta carotene whenever you dissolve them. There's like a, there's like little fire spots everywhere from the lightning. Oh, sweet. Six more. We're doing good on Wither Skeleton Skull, so, so Nether Stars aren't going to be an issue. Uh, let's go see if I've got any shards yet. Uh, let's see. Nope, wrong fusion. Uh, that one. And the answer to that is no. And now the answer to this should be yes. And... Yep, okay. So... Draconic Core. And then... Fusion Crafting Core. Now I could actually set this thing up. Now what's really going to be ugly... Is to power this thing at full speed, I am going to need... Uh, quite a bit, actually. And let's go ahead and put this, like, right here, right? That should be fine. Do single item mode. I'm probably going to need to get into the Cryothium Flux Duct in order to, uh, to power these at any decent amount. Or I can use refined storage. There is a way to do it that way too. Oh yes, and I got some modular storage set up here so I can actually do something about all the dimlets I have. I've got all these that I just got, plus I got some dimlets from killing Endermen. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab the dimensional manual too, just in case. And the other thing I have is loot boxes. 307 of them. And probably a couple out here too. Uh, 17 more. Hey, I'm kind of curious what's in here. Blaze Rock Growth Crystal White Antimatter. Okay. So put that away. And I'm going to start putting my dimlets into the modular storage system from RF Tools. And here comes the fun part. So I did get, I got some dimlets, so. And I got some moon dimlets. Everything else is uh, dimlet pieces. So I need a dimlet workbench over here now too. And there we go. So I got base parts, I got basic energy modules, memory, biome type, controller, circuit rarity, zero through five. Nice. Uh, dimlet controller type, digit, Effect, feature, liquid material, mob, Patreon type. Oh, we got regular energies. Okay, regular memory. Sky, special, structure, terrain, and time. And weather. So, oh, is there anything else around here? What else do we have here? We had controller type controller and feature type. Okay. Now, thing is, these each have two dimlet parcels in and of themselves as well. So that's even more stuff I have to throw into here. Now this will hold 300 types of items, so this actually works really good for dimlets. Um, did not mean to grab that, actually. That is the, the nasty oh my god dimension. Which, uh, let's see, my workbench is actually right over here, isn't it? No, where did I put my... Here. Alright, so ID4 is what I want. ID3, I will extract it. 
And now I have an empty adventure tab. And tell you what, we'll put uh, this guy here. And then I can actually choose dimlets to put into it to design my own custom dimension. Out of these guys, which I can actually like put together. So like sky dimlet, normal night. This dimlet is blacklisted. Really? Like they blacklisted a bunch of dimlets? Normal night, normal day, normal. Yeah, apparently. Oh, that's lovely now, isn't it? Okay, sky body is fine. And it looks like the features are fine, though, too. But, yeah. Oh, well. I will play with this off camera because like, I've got a bunch of this stuff to uh, to take care of. But the main thing is, now we're at the point where I'm basically just waiting for resources to come in. And also, I need to make Crystal Binder, which is a fun little chain. I'm probably going to put the chain together off camera, to be completely honest. Then he thinks like Crushed Rotocrosite, which is granite and a rock crusher for this stuff. I need Calcium Sulfate, which is a wonderful crafting chain in and of itself. Chem reactor, and then fluorite water, and you get fluorite here, and fluorite comes from this, which comes from this, which is polished diorite, and yeah. No, it's a it's it's a very nice little crafting chain. It's quite fun to put together. I usually have Ender IO when I do it though, so I have a feeling it's gonna get some pretty flat and nasty with duct work everywhere. Which is one of the reasons I love Ender IO, is because you can keep things cleaner. But we don't have it, so. Also, are you? Why are you backstuffed? Did you seriously run a room for hydrogen? You did, didn't you? Wow. Uh, here, so I have one of these for now. Boom. And there it goes. Yep, that was a problem. You know, thinking about it. I need to see if these things will work with a uh, drawer controller, the translocators. Come here. Um, yeah, well, maybe. Tell you what, let me just go ahead and we'll get rid of that as well. Oh, yeah, no, it works. So drawer controller is fine. Uh, single drawers, I imagine, would be fine. It's the, the double and fork drawers that it seems to have issues with. And it also, that's right, trans do you? Yeah, I think it has an issue with void drawers that are voiding. And I'll just do this for now. Right, because yeah, you're still sitting there. If I do that, then... No. Get out of here. That is really weird. No, you stop that. You stop back beating. And we will just do like that now. So anything that the translocator doesn't grab, the duct can pull. But I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this an episode. I do... I've got a stupid amount of dimlets now to process. And... Yeah, there's the book that I'm probably going to have to reference. I'm going to try working on building myself a, a dimension to probably move into. I don't know. I'm, one of the things I don't like is I like building underground, right? I like having basements to my builds. Let's put it that way. That is not really possible with this. 
three blocks below this, and that's it. So, did kind of shoot myself in the foot by not actually building an above ground building here. But, yeah. Kind of something to live with for now. I'm starting to move my refined storage stuff over here as well. I need to get my machines over. But I am thinking about just moving to a new dimension as well, so... Oh, wow, you're already empty. Yeah, it does take long to run through that, does it? 26,000. And it's definitely climbing, so... Well, yeah, because it's got a backlog of a hydrogen, which is actually what I have a surplus over over here. And how are we doing? 157 buckets plus another 8, so... Uh, 1.5 million of liquid meat. So yes, that's definitely a thing. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series so far, and until next time, sign signing out, have fun.